Hi everyone and welcome to White Skies Wisdom. This is a reading for Gemini. How are you going Gemini? I hope you're all really well. <clears throat> Let's get into it. Thank you. Any more advice for Gemini please? Any more advice for Gemini? Yes, thank you. Okay. All right, Gemini, you, you're either feeling very happy and self-assured, but I don't think so. <laughs> it, so that's how I think you're projecting yourself at the moment, but I really think you're in self-defense mode. A lot of people are coming at you and just want to tear down your happiness is how you're feeling at the moment, Gemini. Oh, I'm sorry. Let's see. Mm, you've got the higher ground. It's your life. Remember that. Let's go. Okay. Honey, you know what choices to make for you. Yeah. So this can be actually someone that is literally moving to a whole new area or in the past moved to a whole new area. Literally someone who moved overseas to live or someone that moved completely out of the area they were from and completely separated themselves from that area and moved into an area that they don't know, okay? It took a lot of organisation or you will be thinking about doing this, a lot of organisation, a lot of planning, a lot of everything. But you chose to do it to get your finances sorted and to be able to start to manifest what you want in this world. If it was in the, you moved here, it, it didn't move, it didn't work out so well. Cultural differences, other things like that have led you to a point where you think, well, what was the point of doing this? <laughs> here I am. Why am I here? Uh, let's go. Yes, it's been so many years of having to be defensive. Could be with a water sign, absolutely. Okay. The stability wasn't there. It was too much. Um, people, everybody sort of wanted to take the reins in this scenario, whatever it is. And um, what you're finding is you've only been able to manifest a small amount of worldly gain, you know, worldly, worldly, like, you know, a certain amount of money in your bank and all that sort of thing, a certain amount of stability. And you really thought you'd have it a lot more together by now. The Wheel of Fortune's turned up and down and up and down, hey? And you just want this Wheel of Fortune to stay stable. You want your stability to be known. You want, to know, you want to know each week what you're getting paid, basically. There's a roof over your head, there's food, that sort of stuff. And you're starting to really just decide that that is what you were going to go for now. All right? You're going to start to look after yourself. Don't start pouring your emotions out to everybody and everything. Keep a lid on your emotions a bit, hey? You can see in this temperance card here. One foot on the ground, one foot on their emotions. Keeping their emotions to themselves and alchemizing it by using their intuition. Okay? This is the path to enlightenment and self-autonomy. Temperance. Temperance in all things. Particularly how you think. And what you say is really important at the moment because it's basically sandwiched in between the Ten of Wands and then the Ten of Swords. Both extremes. This is the balance point in the middle here. So if you really want to be able to get your fortunes and your happiness sorted out, temperance is the answer. If you want to stop this constant mind stuff that's going on and the constant burdens in your life, temperance is the answer. 
sunshine as well. Temperance in Leo season is really important for you. You've got to balance those twins. The feminine and masculine side of yourself. Okay. When you were younger, you could have really had your stuff together at some stage. But as you've grown older, if you're an older individual, as you're as you're aging, you're finding that you're having to keep your heart more under lock and key. What the universe really wants you to do is to open your heart back up and open your heart back up to yourself here. Because this lack of sleep and constant thoughts needs to stop now. It's affecting you. It's affecting your health. It's affecting your stability. It's affecting your ability to manifest in this world. Okay, constant rumination over past hurts, pains, things that have happened here is affecting your daily life. You're bringing that energy into now, even though it may be years ago that some events happened. And I'm, I'm understanding this completely because I'm a Gemini moon, my emotions. So, yes, I hold on to, I can hold on and ruminate and think, okay? There's no more choices in this scenario it's finished it's over it's the past whatever's been ruminating through your head here there's no more solutions to be found okay i suppose there's lessons to be learned but i think you've been getting stuck in the the rumination of past things it's now time to get to work the rumination can come over the fact that you've worked darn hard for so darn long and no one actually realised that you wanted people to actually acknowledge what you were good at and in the past possibly you were, but as I said, I'm feeling this is an older person. As you've aged, it hasn't necessarily been the case. You could be going through an a, um, employment change. You've been aged out of the employment or something like that and you're having to make some massive changes any more advice please there's a lot to be gained from looking back actually at the past here of how you've actually taken on so many burdens <clears throat> And how your stability and your ability to manifest were weighed down by the fact that you had so many burdens, mental, physical, okay? I'm going to get some more advice because we keep on going this way. I want to know where we're going now. Let's see. Thank you. New beginnings, great. All right, now's the time for a new start. Oh, I sort of I got that feeling of, oh, do I have to? That just came right over me. This, oh, God, really? Oh, you know, that sort of feeling? It's okay. It's time to balance the twins. Gorgeous card, isn't it? Okay. It's new beginnings when it comes to your relationships possibly with the other sex or uh, partners, doesn't, you know, don't have to be the opposite sex. But it's a balancing of the masculine and feminine sides within you, the one that's receptive and the one that goes out and gets the job done, okay? You've also been, as I said, lots of thoughts of past hurts here and past burdens, and you have been suffering in silence for a very, very long time. It's obvious with these cards, okay? Let's see what we can do here. Advice. Advice. Yeah. It just sort of feels like, oh, really, I've, you know, I've been, if, if this is a, a partner you've been looking for, you've been looking for a long time, haven't found them. Patience. <laughs> I 
Any more advice? <laughs> Let's go there. Right, here we go. Yeah, other people. Other people have really let you down. Or you feel you might have let other people down. Other people have been really envy envious, possibly of a relationship you've had or your ability to be able to balance the two sides of yourself to be able to manifest in this world. You've been very successful and you, re and you need to look around and appreciate what you do have in this world. It's really important. People could be putting you on hold, okay? Really putting you on hold. And or you're putting other people on hold. And look how this individual is looking at this. It's like, I don't want to wait. I'm not interested in waiting. That's not for me. <clears throat> Any more advice? Being a Gemini, I know waiting is not. <laughs> Waiting's, <laughs> Waiting's not something I was enjoyed. So you're getting intuition here and there. It comes, it goes. You move, you don't. You move, you don't. You move, you don't. What you, you're trying to figure out is, do I make a brand new start? Do I go after my happy? Do I go after my material harvest? It's time to sit back and actually start to really think about it. I want to get some... Do I go after the person I want? Let go of fear. Create inner harmony. Inner harmony. Don't go looking in the external world for your happy. It's time to look inside. Okay. No person, place or thing can re really bring you true happiness unless you have it inside yourself. And I think that's a lifelong task, okay? Let's see if there's any more advice. Oh, something wanted to flip over. Whoa. <laughs> okay, Jim, let's go. <clears throat> Expansion. Educate your mind and senses. And secret temptation being led astray. Galactic healer. Move forward with an open mind. I love that card so much. Eternal union. New love is forming. And dark night of the soul. Life brings new meaning. Massive expansion happening in your world when it comes to the temptations and the intuition. You're getting both at extremes. You could be literally swinging from one side to the other. When you think of past relationships, I think that's when you could fall back into periods of success, excess. Keep on saying that wrong. But you're now deciding that you really do need to open your mind back up. You have two choices at the moment. Breathe into the, breathe into the fear or choose love. It's either, is it either or is it all? I believe there's only one, there's only, there's one or the other. You can Get, go down the path of the 3D matrix world where they breed fear, you listen to the news, you, you get swamped, you get scared from all the things that are coming at you or you rise your vibration, take time out and actually realise that you can move forward with an open mind, unburdened of all this past thinking. It takes at times a dark night of the soul and a dark night of the soul can feel eternal when you're inside it, hey? But going through the darkness makes us appreciate the light. So it's now time to look towards the light. Life brings new meaning. Okay? It's time to really look after you, Gem. Let's see if there's any more advice here for you. Move on. <laughs> it's over. The past is done. Past is history. The future's a mystery. Today's the present, that's, you know, the gift. That's why they call it the present. Moving on. This is your victory and success. Okay. Pick yourself up by your bootstraps here. Do not get tempted anymore. 
by being led astray by other individuals, yourself, things. It's time to find your own love, love for self, okay? It could be through a period of darkness that you're going through, but it's move forward with an open mind and an open heart. All right, let's, last card. Let's get an uh, affirmation for you here, Gemini. Okay. This reading's very much for me as well as everybody else. I listen with love to my body's messages. Your body doesn't lie. I take a nice, deep breath and release all resistance to healing. I don't, was it you or was it Libra? I said go outside and take three deep breaths. It might be Libra. If you have any Libra in chart, check it out. I freely express who I am. Yeah, who you are, all right? It is my birthright to express myself in ways that are fulfilling to me. Yeah, don't listen to what people think. <laughs> you know, that's their own stuff, all right? It, it, you are free to express free, absolutely freely who you are, okay? And you listen with love to your body's messages. The work of Louise Hay. The body doesn't lie. You can heal yourself and all those other things. I love it. Check it out. Uh, you can get the, basically, you'll be able to figure out where in your body that the energy is being stored and therefore get an idea of where the rumination, the constant thoughts um, are going okay and how it's leading to different issues in the body okay it's a very interesting course of study anyway i really hope that helped Jim. time to leave the past in the past hey victory and success is yours time to move on and ignite your own passion i love you all i really hope that helped and bye for now